So straight from the opening title sequence, this one gave me some old school vibes. It just looked and felt like an old timey movie and I actually got excited. And then almost immediately let down because the rest of it doesn't really have that feel to it. So it felt like it pulled a bit of a bait and switch on me, but that wasn't really a huge issue. And it still had me intrigued because it's kind of a strange movie to be honest. And it takes quite a while for it to really get going and to reveal what's actually going on. But the basic premise here is that we're following the people of this tiny village in Brazil. A few years in the future and it kind of has this soft dystopian thing going on. And it is listed under sci-fi on IMDb, although again I would maybe rather call it soft sci-fi. Because it's definitely not hardcore sci-fi with a ton of uh, futuristic elements to it. But anyway, the story here basically follows the people of this tiny village. A very tight-knit community that sticks together and doesn't bow down to outsiders. But they're in a strange situation where they're sort of semi-isolated. And for reasons that I don't think were even given, uh, the river and their water supply has been cut off. So that's primarily what gives this that pseudo-dystopian uh, post-apocalyptic feel, kind of like Mad Max actually. And then some even stranger things start to happen, things I'm not gonna get into. But it actually reminded me a lot of a recent movie I reviewed in that regard. One that I'm not even gonna name because that would basically give away what's going on here. But at first it seems like something really weird was going on and I liked it. However, as it turns out the explanation is a little bit less strange than I expected and hoped for. And to me at least it ended up feeling a little bit underwhelming. I would have just preferred if it went all out nuts with it instead. Now with that being said it does get a little bit out there to some extent and I didn't really mind that. In fact that was still probably my favorite part of the movie. I just wish it went even further with it actually. But I will say that I like the core of the story here, I, I like the essence of this movie. I like the whole setup and the village and the villagers and all of that. I also really liked how it ended and how it wrapped it all up, that was really great. But unfortunately I think this movie really suffered from some serious pacing issues. Because despite of how much I liked parts of it, a lot of the time it just felt like it wasn't really moving. Like it was just running in place and it never really felt like it gained any real momentum. Even in the end, when the movie reaches its uh, climax, that whole sequence just felt less exciting than it could have been. Mainly because of the editing and how it was all put together. I feel like there was potential for more, it could have been so much better. And I think that had this been cut to a really tight 90 minutes or something, I would have enjoyed this a lot. But as it stands, the pacing kinda killed it for me and that's a real shame. Because as I said, I really like the essence of it and I think it could have been a lot better. However, it has been very well received by a lot of people, both critics and wider audiences. So maybe this one is just me, I don't know, but does that mean I wouldn't recommend it? I mean, if a weird slightly futuristic Brazilian movie sounds like something you'd enjoy, maybe give it a peek. Otherwise probably skip it, or you know, don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.